Hey everybody, a lot of people are asking about weight loss. First off, I hate weight loss. You can amputate a body part and that's called weight loss, right? What if you're losing muscle and bone? That's called weight loss. A lot of people who do the crash diets and cut calories, especially if you're over 40 years of age, every pound you lose, most likely 70% of that is bone and muscle and only 30% of it is fat. So you don't want to lose bone and muscle. And so for when it comes to weight loss, focus more on body chemistry and appearance and size. Make sure you incorporate weight training training. It's not just about the cardio. Cardio can actually increase cortisol levels, which reduces testosterone, which can lead to muscle loss and bone loss. You've got to be absorbing your food properly. You need to eat properly. A lot of bodybuilders do this thing called reverse dieting, and I don't have time to get into it in this video. We may do another video on just what reverse dieting is, but the concept behind reverse dieting is you've got to boost your metabolism, which means you actually, for a short period of time, maybe a month, maybe even two months, you eat more. You increase your calories and your meals to get the body used to more food. Then you start to slowly taper off and all of a sudden you see the weight come off. I have a bodybuilding coach. That's how we did it with me. I went from 189 pounds to 165 pounds in about six months. And the way we did it was first we increased my calories. Then we little by little started to cut down and I lost a lot of weight. Then we focused on adding muscle and bringing back up. That's a great way. So do some research on reverse dieting. The other one is mental image. Listen, your mind and body have to be connected. When you close your eyes and imagine you're standing in front of a mirror and you only see flaws and things you don't like about yourself, that's not good. Can you close your eyes and imagine your best self looking back at you in the mirror? If you can, you need to practice this once a day, every day, and create a self image of you that you start to believe in. And believe it or not, your body will start to conform to your self image. Everybody becomes on the outside what they are on the inside. You will look the way you think you look. That's a fact. Change how you look on the inside, you will look different on the outside. That's powerful. Another one I'll tell you is weigh yourself every day. And if you see the scale moving, you can stop it earlier. But also, if that number is a number you don't like, and you see that number every single morning, you're going to live your day a little differently because it's in front of your face. So you go out to lunch with your friends, and you remember that number that you didn't like seeing that morning and maybe you'll order less food, or maybe you'll eat something a little different, or maybe when you don't feel like going to the gym, and you're like, why don't I skip the gym today? But you remember the number you just saw on the scale this morning? That'll motivate you to go. So weigh yourself every single day. Literally, this is a business principle and a principle in life. Whatever you track improves. If you don't track it, it doesn't improve. I write my weight down in an app that graphs it for me and I look at my weight every single morning and track it. I want to see the trend. I want to know where it's going. And check your body fat composition. There's many ways to do that. Make sure fat's going down, muscle's going up. Especially as we age, there's sarcopenia that happens, which means we start to lose muscle. Over the age of 30, 40, they say you start to lose some muscle mass if you're not exercising. So fight it. There's no reason you shouldn't be getting younger as you age, not older. Those are just a few things on weight loss I want to tell you about, things I'm passionate about. I'll say this. This is very controversial, and I saved it for the end because I want to get off the camera because I know you're going to hate me for saying this. Some of the sickest people I know are really skinny people, and so some body fat is actually healthy and you don't want to have too low of a body fat. Now, if you're a bodybuilder, you're competing, you're going to cut your body fat all the way down, you're going to get on stage, you're going to snap some pictures, and then you'll put some body fat back on, but really, really extremely low body fat is not healthy either. So you don't want to be skinny, you want to be muscular, and you want to be fit. I hope that helps you. Send me your questions. I know you got a lot after this one. Take care. God bless. I'll talk to you soon.